Mick Smith has all the toys to go with his world-class eye. The photographer shoots for the Associated Press in Charleston, but even on days off, he bumps into headline stories. A uh, federal marshal, literally with an assault rifle out, told me to turn around, and I immediately went into being the Associated Press photographer. I went around the block, got my cameras, came back in my golf cart, in my croc shoes, and in my beach attire, and started taking pictures. This is his Wednesday yield, U.S. Marshals on Isle of Palms. When I got there, that's when they pulled him out of the house, and those are the pictures you see with him in his handcuffs and the marshals talking to him. John Michael Yuba is accused of stabbing a couple with a samurai sword when they met him at a home on Daniel Island to buy items for sale on the selling app OfferUp. Police say this sort of crime can happen to anyone in any place, including this gated neighborhood where the samurai sword assault took place. Make sure you're familiar with, with the app and the, where you're going. You know, try to let somebody know where you're going. Mount Pleasant PD is one of a handful of departments that have set up safe exchange locations to protect against such acts. How often are our incidents happening right. during transactions like this? At least for us, I can speak to our numbers. We don't see that that very often. Um, every now and again, you might get the occasional. I was swapped. A, I was told I was buying an iPad, and the box may be empty. For one photojournalist, it's an image he won't soon forget. That's really something you don't see a lot on 23rd Avenue. On the Isle of Palms is federal marshals with a fugitive task force with assault rifles out. Both people were told that were stabbed last month are recovering. Meanwhile, Yuba's bond has been set at $25,000. And police say one way to find out if the seller is legit or not, tell them to meet you at a safe exchange location like here at the police station. Live in Mount Pleasant, Travis Rice, News 2.